everyone. Today I'm talking about a pen, a fountain pen from a brand that people don't really talk about and that I only know from the rollerballs and that is Retro 51. Um, this is a tornado fountain pen and I'm really excited to show you what it looks like and to show you the nib on this pen because it has a fancy nib. All right, let's switch the shot. All right, here we are with a close-up of the Retro 51 tornado fountain pen. This is an ombre color that was specially made for gold spot pens. And I am honestly surprised at how much I like the look and feel of this pen. I never really contemplated buying a Retro 51 fountain pen, but when I got my hands on this one, um, I was really, really into it. And I still am really into it. What also surprised me is that this is a screw cap. Like I fully expected a snap cap. Anyway. This is a blue pen, um, and it has like this lovely gradient from dark blue to this lighter blue and silver trim. Um, this big cap thing doesn't really make sense to me. I wish that was a little smaller, but otherwise I really like this pen. This says by Retro, and it says 1951-1951, and it says Tornado. Right there, tornado. A uh, clip, very usable. Um, it is a pen that would be good on the go, even though it is a screw cap. Um, you could definitely bring this with you and clip it to a shirt. Silver cap band, and the end of the barrel is like a silver coin shape. It's it's fairly basic, but honestly, the color makes it look really good, and somehow it feels very nice. Now, of course, this pen does not come um, with the nib that's on it because the nib that's on it is actually a Regalia Writing Labs nib. Regalia Writing Lab makes funky nibs, weird nibs, insane nibs, um, and this one is a nib that is inspired by the Sailor King Eagle, um, and it is the Trilogy nib. Currently not in stock at Regalia, um, so don't think you can get your hands on this if you wanted to, but I still wanted to show you because <laughs> this is bonkers. This nib is completely insane. It is basically three nibs stacked, welded together, and it really does emulate like a brush type writing. So the way it puts ink on the paper is definitely brush-like. Now, um, I brought this pen uh, somewhere to write with, to journal with, and it was a big mistake. It was the only fountain pen I brought, and I was basically shit out of luck because this is not a pen I can journal with. I probably could have changed the writing angle and made it work, but it was just so surprising to me that this nib was so insane, uh, and you'll see why like in a second. Anyway, cartridge converter pen, uh, and I have it inked up with a sailor um, sample, of which I do not remember the name, but it might come back to me. It's one of the Shiguri inks. Uh, it's nice, not very special. Reminds me of Yamadori, honestly. So, writing with this. This nib can be used at different angles and will deliver a different like writing experience um, depending on the angle. Now I looked this up, the regular like writing angle or the range of writing angle for most people should deliver a triple broad writing experience. And I would say that is fairly accurate. So I was um, in my <laughs> coffee shop with my journal trying to figure out how I would write with this. I'm using an A6 journal right now and um, it was not going to happen, obviously. If you heighten your writing angle, you can definitely make something workable, right? Um, but honestly, this is not my preferred writing angle, and I was sitting, I did not have a table in front of me, and it was just not happening. But, like, you can change your writing angle slightly, 
and then just change the line width. Now, side strokes are super broad. That's because of the nib stacking. So the 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 like the pointy end is really hard to see. It's not like the actual point which makes the down strokes isn't actually super broad, but the side strokes are super broad because it's a triple stack, basically. Uh, if you go lower, apparently it would become broader, but I think that the natural writing angle is the broadest comfortable writing situation that you can find. Uh, I... This, this nib is just a fun nib to play around with. Um, I don't think this is for practical writing. Uh, sometimes I do titles um, in my notebook, in my journal, like I date my entry with this pen. But like, if you're an artist, this is so much fun, right? This is a crazy ass nib. Downstrokes, high downstrokes, High side strokes, also quite fine because you're just touching the top nib. You go down a little, you go broader, you go at the broadest angle, it gets really broad. This is the trilogy I want you guys to remember. And honestly, so um, the maker of these nibs, they call themselves Regalia Writing Labs. His name is Ralph. He is a crazy person with magic skills, honestly. But yeah, not for daily use. Definitely for artists. Definitely for fun. For playing around with. And honestly, crazy. It's just crazy. But so much fun. Um, and I kind of love that it's like inspired by a sailor nib. The sailor specialty nibs are for some uh, time hard to get, also very expensive, um, and it's just nice to see people being creative in the fountain pen field. Also that line variation is cool. Like if I do um, down strokes at my natural writing angle, I'm inking myself very badly, and then side strokes, you can just do amazing things with it. And, and I really, really like the pen. So the balance of this pen is great, right? It is fairly large. Um, I know we've been focusing on the nib, but I want to talk about the pen for a little bit. It's fairly large. Um, it can be posted, becomes top heavy, and it's not a very secure post. So I would not do this. Um, this is perfect for writing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this overview of this crazy, crazy nib. Um, this pen was uh, lent to me by Dr. Brownie, who will be linked below again. Um, he's been a real angel with me borrowing his pens. Anyway, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.